This conference will now be recorded. Well, welcome back to our Advanced Use Duck Quote Training Series. And we are going to be talking about adding connections onto equipment uh, that we created and talked about in the last session. Uh, we are going to go ahead just for clarity and label some things. As you recall, this green object was an ILD. So we're actually going to call this the collector. And this we are simply going to call something simple like a saw. All right, so that'll be our machine, and this will be our ILD. Remember that. And just as a reminder, an ILD can contain one outlet and one inlet as connectors, whereas a machine can only have outlets but can have as many of those as we want. So we are going to go ahead and add uh, at some machines here. We're going to take that machine, and you'll notice down here at the bottom of the controls, we can add connections. So we're going to go ahead and click that. And here you can see that we are going to be defining quite a bit about it. We can even name these connections if we wanted to. I'm not going to bother here, but I am going to go ahead and enter some things. Now, I don't yet know the volume. We're going to come back to that. But we do know that our system is going to have a target velocity of 4,500 feet per minute. We're not going to enter a pressure loss for the machine itself. If you're interested in that, simply hover over the question mark and it will explain it for you. But we're going to use a round as opposed to a rectangular. We can do a rectangular. We'll get into those later. And as far as the dimension goes, we're going to make this one a 5-inch connection. And we're going to use a hose adapter on this. And you'll see just what that does for us here in a moment. So here at the bottom, we'll click New Connection. Okay. And we're being reminded that we must have volume. So up here on volume, we've entered velocity. We've entered the diameter. So we don't have to know the volume. We can use the calculator button here, and it will fill that for us. So now we're going to click New Connection. And having checked that we have everything that we need, I'm going to place this one right here in the middle of the top, and I click. Now if we zoom in, you'll notice there's an arrow coming out of the red connection, and it shows the air movement coming out. So that is an outlet. I'm going to select the machine again, and just to show that we can have multiples, we're going to add another connection. And this one, instead of being five, we're going to make this one three inches which means we need to recalculate volume. And we'll put this one on the side. There we go. And now, just to make it realistic, we're going to move this somewhere else away from the collector. Okay. All right. So now let's talk about the ILD or inline device. Now remember, we can add connections here, but we can only add one inlet and or one outlet. So again, if we select it in edit mode, we have an add connections button here. I'm going to go ahead and click add connection. You'll see that this is a little bit different. We don't have quite as much information to fill in. We do have to select whether it's an inlet or an outlet. In our case for a collector, it'll be an inlet. The shape can be round or rectangular. Just for this purpose, we're going to use a rectangular. Okay, And so we're going to give it some dimensions. We're going to make this something nice and simple, like an 8 by 6. And then on the flange type, we're just going to have a flange with holes. Now again, if we click New Connection, I'm going to tilt this down so we're looking at the top, and we can place that connection anywhere on this. I'm going to place it right near the middle of the top. Okay. 
And as you can see, here we have a arrow pointing in, so we know that this is an inlet, okay? So now let's talk about what we can do. We've actually got the connections here, so let's see what happens when we actually draw from these, because any connection on a piece of equipment is a starting point. So if we put ourselves in draw, I've made sure to choose US duct. I'm not going to select a diameter. I want you to see what happens. If I click here, you notice I get guidelines coming up, and I'm just going to come up five feet. Now remember that this connection, if we select here and edit, and I look at the connection, okay, and edit, we chose a hose adapter as the connection style. And so we get flex hose. So if we continue drawing from that, they come up to about 12 feet. The next set will be, in fact, hard duct. And if we do the same thing down here, draw from our three, come out, and we're just going to go two feet. And then we're going to turn up, and we're going to come up until we meet here. And now we'll join that and create a branch. Now, what happens if we draw from here over? Watch what happens. I get a snap line that shows when I am even with the connection. So it makes it easy to line things up in the drawing. And I'll get another snap line when I'm directly over the connection. But now be careful. I want everyone to watch closely. If we draw down, and we see that we hit that, and I click. We get a very different looking connection there. We get an actual squared around transition. And that will actually show up in our bill of materials if we process this. Okay? So that's the basics of adding connections to our machines. So in our next session, we're actually going to take a look at sizing the duct using the information in these ports using the manual mode of open ends in duct quotes calculation tab. So look forward to talking to you then.